Episode 5, starting off, looking at the B place. Uh, it's been on the project list for a while. I uh, just have uh, six apiaries here. Uh, goal in mind here is we're trying to get the royal jelly. I believe to do that, we need uh, noble bees to mix with uh, majestic bees. Right here I've got a majestic princess. And we're going to try to mix with one of these noble drones. Uh, see what happens here. I believe we're after imperial bees. So we'll have to see what the offspring is here uh, after this uh, gets done here. So just wanted to show you we are working on that. And uh, we'll give you an update here uh, as uh, this progresses. Okay, we are at my rubber farm here. I'm just on the way over I've got a, a tropical bee that we need to put out here in the jungle so I thought we'd come on over here and do that. Should have brought some frames though I'll have to come back for that but let's get out of here before we get poisoned. Just wanted to show you I did have a little jungle area over here. Here's my little makeshift rubber farm if I need rubber. You can see the lava tank down there underneath that's where the hub base hub is over there, solar panels, but uh, we've been doing some some Thomcraft research and finally learned how to make these, so I made a couple pairs and I think we'll, we'll give one to my girlfriend, so we'll fly on over to her place and uh, leave her a little gift, but I'll meet you over there. Alright, we just dropped it off, left a little sign. It'll be interesting to see what she what she says when she finds that. So I'm going to take you back over to home base and show you something else that I built today. Here we are down by the tree farm. And while I was doing my Thomcraft research, I was always needing the armor aspect, uh, tutaman or uh, whatever you call that, uh, that, that little icon right there. But uh, leather gives you that icon. I also need leathers for books, for miscraft. And I always was having trouble getting cows and whatever, so finally I constructed this. So, tier 5. Cow dropper. That's what I call it anyway. So I just come over here and get as much leather as I need and, and I'm a big fan of steak so <laughs> I really like me some steak so something else that's been taking up a little of my time but uh, we'll run back and check on those bees and finally after multiple hours of bee breeding we now have an Imperial Princess and an Imperial Drone. So that took quite a while. This is what we're after, the Royal Jelly. Lots of things you can do with that. Uh, plus it's a requirement to get into the DNA and that kind of stuff. So just wanted to show you that. It did come from, I believe it was a Majestic in a Noble Drone. So I'm going to go ahead and keep trying to breed these into pure, because I'm sure if I look at them here, they're going to be hybrids. Let's take a quick peek at them here, just to show you. Oh, this one is a pure imperial. Normal. Okay, that's good. Figured it would be a hybrid, and this is a pure too, so awesome. That is awesome. And then we've got this... It's just a noble hybrid. What was the other guy in here? Majestic Unknown. And he is a Majestic Imperial. So, just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that. Uh, we'll be doing some other stuff, but I did get to 
that uh, Imperial B. So, be back in a bit. Well, it looks like she found her gift. Thanks. What do they reveal? Those revealing goggles. Well, they reveal auroras and flux. And flux is something that we don't want a whole lot of. It is the leftover magic that goes into the air when you are doing Thomcraft sorceries. So maybe we might just uh, head over to the tower and do a little sorcery and we can see if uh, any flux gets generated from that. So let's take a trip over there and 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 create some items and we're back at the tower and our tree has finally grown and it grew a lot bigger than the other tree but that's alright that's alright well while we're out here today I think we're gonna create a couple of helpers uh, to help us out at our farm so let's get started on that um, been a while since I've done this, but I think we're going to need to use the um, the infusion altar here, and we're going to have to make some of these basic animation cores. Uh, we'll just create one helper for now, but we're going to need nitor. Let's go ahead and grab our nitor that's over here. We'll use it just because we have one already created. So we'll grab that, and we need some clay grab that and I believe we need one of those but we'll take a look here okay so in order for an animation core we're going to need this nitor and that and it says we need eight of the impertio and eight of the motus which I believe we get both from that so grab some rubber here let's go ahead and throw those in here I've got the goggles on and this is one of the things that it really helps out with is you'll be able to see what's in here once we start throwing these in see that that's a big help when you're doing these recipes so there's our eight and eight come back over here Put our wand in and here's our core. Now I do want to make an intelligent one. This says we need 12 learning to make an, this is going to make an uh, intelligent core that will make the, the helper intelligent. Or It's a golem is what it is. I got golem helpers. So let's make that. Uh, books give us five knowledge so we'll throw three books in for that. Keep refilling this with water. And wait for it to bubble here. Grab our books. And all that excess stuff that's that's additional to the spell will go into the atmosphere. So that's where you get your flux. And here's our intelligence core. So the helper that we're going to make is going to become intelligent. So we're going to want to make a straw guy. He's the, he's the guy that harvests your food, your crops. So let's take a look at him. He's right here. He's a farming golem. And you can make him intelligent. And it takes five wheat. And then we need eight of these Victus and eight of the Animus. So I believe I've got the wheat actually gives you the uh, the apple icon, and then this will give us the the ghost icon. That's how I remember them, or just by the symbols. So let's go ahead and set this up here. We need our animation core there, and then we need our straw here, and then we need the eight and eight. So let's go ahead and do that. Mm 
Yeah, those are the same actually. So we'll just use some apples for that part. So there's eight of that. eight of those. So let's go over here. And here's our straw golem guy. So what he'll do is, saying he's a smart guy, so what he'll do is he'll harvest the crops, he'll go knock them down, but he'll also replant, which is which is what we want him to do. And another thing we really can do, and I guess uh, we'll go ahead and do that, is to make a wood guy that I'll just run around and pick stuff up and put it in a chest for us after he harvests it. So let's go ahead and make another animation core. But we're gonna have to make a night tour to do that. I believe I don't think I have any coal on me and it's getting dark. I got some coal here. Okay. So we'll make some night tour. And night door. It's been a while. Let's look it up here. Four of the fire, six lux, and four potentia. Four, six, four. Okay. Now coal gives you both the fire and the potentia. So. Put those in there that and then we need three of these torches and that gives us our lux and then we need magic wand and there's our night tour so now we can make our core that in there and now we need our rubber to get us our the impertio and the motus again so we'll do that and we need four of those in there got it and here's our core now just for the heck of it because we can Let's go ahead and make this guy smart too. So we need our 12 books again. So we'll go throw that in there. I'm gonna wait for it to bubble here before you throw your items in. So it'll take three of these books. And there's that. And here's our intelligence core. So we've got that. We're going to make a wood guy, which takes great wood logs, I believe. And he's the guy that picks stuff up and put it in the chest. So if we turn the page here, here's our wood golems. Crafted from great wood. When placed on a chest or container, they will keep close watch on the surroundings. So we'll go ahead and create him. He's the eight apples and the eight ghosts, too. So got our great wood logs here and then we'll go add our items we'll throw those in need eight of those and eight of the ghosts put a couple of things back in the chest. I'm going to run these guys over to the farm. We'll take a little nap here and then we'll show you how they work. Okay, and we are at this farming area here. 
I've got a chest here and what I want to do is I want to be central about this because these guys have a certain radius that they can travel um, yeah I just did that it's cool but uh, I want to put the chest about here in the middle of this area and what's going to happen is is the first thing I'm going to do is place this wood guy right against this chest he's gonna watch for things that are on the ground so if I drop this on the ground he picked it up and he put it right in the chest now since he's smart I can tell him up to I can tell him to pick up certain things or he'll just pick up everything but that's we'll just let him pick up everything the next guy I'll drop is the straw guy and he's just gonna start going to town He's going to run around harvesting everything, and he's also going to replant. So let's watch him here. Yep, he's replanting the crops, see, on the ground as he's going. Now, I don't know what causes them to work in what order, but they kind of just run all over like they don't know what the heck they're doing, but they get the job done. They... <laughs> He harvested that carrot and left that one there. I don't know. I don't know how that all works, but uh, they could eventually get everything knocked down here. He's just freaking out. There's all kinds. Of, holy crap! Shut that chest. <laughs> what the heck are you doing? Oh my! Wow! Come on now. Let's get going here. Let's get this all cleaned up. It's going to get dark soon. I don't want to be out here all day. I have to supervise you guys. Come on. <laughs> that guy looked like he fell off of the... It looked like he slipped off of the bellet when he fell down or something. Oh my goodness. Let's get busy, you guys. Boy, they're, they're good workers. Good help. I'm going to be like talking like... <laughs> Shut that chest. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. They've almost got it all done there though. Oh, he decided he was going to take a break. Oh, yeah, he's going back to work. You know, uh, he saw that I was watching. Got to keep busy, you guys. Oh, he gets the pumpkins, too. I didn't know if they would get pumpkins or not. I knew he did melons, but I didn't know if they'd do pumpkins. But, yeah, he's doing them. Well, I think that's pretty much it for an episode today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a comment. Uh, let me know what's going on. Uh, if there's anything you want to see, tell me about it. Otherwise, as always, have a good one.